Hi, Shirley Bilson here. I can't tell you how tricky this is. Uh, I normally put this video in a, on a stand and today I thought you might appreciate a different view. A view from a window in my flat. It's rather lovely. I'm not sure what you can see, maybe you can't see anything, but it really is a beautiful day. And I haven't posted a video for a little while. I wanted to post one about uh, the last blog I wrote, which was around the lists that people have. And different to a previous post, which was about uh, people having good and bad lists for food. So you had a good list and a bad list, good foods, bad foods. This is more about the lists that most, in fact, I've not yet really met a Bindi who doesn't have one, um, but many, many people, especially women, have to-do lists. And some people swear by them and often they're great. However, the trouble with a to-do list with a binge eater is that they have this really, really, really long list of things that they must do or should do or ought to do or have to do. And the chances are, in fact they're not the chances are, the certainty is that none of those things on that list, ought, should, could, not could, ought, should, must, have to, have anything to do with their particular needs. They're always about things for other people. And that might be, you know, uh, think people close to you, like your family, but they might also be people that have absolutely nothing to, whatsoever to do with your personal well-being. It might be the bank, the shop around the corner, the school. It's all about stuff that you can justify as really important but remember the list, I always say to people, okay, I know you've got this really, really, really long list, but just tell me one thing. Where are you on it? Usually there's a silence, sometimes there's a very quick answer that says, I'm not on it. They know they're not on it. Sometimes they might say, oh, no, I am on it, but when I say, yeah, but let's have a look at this for a moment, of the 300 page book that you have, which is your list of things you never ever get through, I bet money that you're right at the bottom in really, really, really small print. And then, of course, they agree, because it's true, they are. And the reason this is really important with binge eating is it's about you having the confidence uh, and the belief in yourself to think you are important enough important enough to matter in your own life. And if you look again at all those things that you tell yourself you have to do, must do, ought to do, just think about them again. How absolutely fundamentally vital are they to do right now? Are they really your responsibility even? Are you taking on things from other people's lists? Now I want to keep this short, I'm not going to labour this we could have another video. I could talk forever on lists, but just think about this one thing. If you have a really, really long list of things that you do, and not many of them are particularly enjoyable, in fact, not any of them are particularly enjoyable. I'm thinking about, oh, packing lunches, doing the ironing, cleaning the fridge, putting on the dishwasher, you know, it's not fun stuff. You might argue it's important, but it isn't fun. So, just think about this, look again at the list, just do one thing, make sure that you're on it. And yes, it does have to do with overcoming binge eating. Thank you for listening.